Hey guys, so I was going to buy some forklift quick attach for my tractor, but it turns out they are over a thousand dollars. So I figured I will make my own and I'm going to document the process real quick, super easy. Okay, so first thing you need to get, quick attach plate. You can make these yourself. They're pretty simple, but I found them on Amazon. I think this one was like 150 bucks, not even, and it's half inch steel. So it's a super heavy duty. Honestly, you can't really beat the price for this, you know, 150 bucks, and it's heavy duty. Its welds are good, cheap delivered, free delivery. So, yeah, buy a plate. They also have uh, thinner ones. I think that'll go down to eighth inch, depending on how heavy duty you're gonna go. Um, the price difference isn't that much to go heavier duty. The only thing you have to know is, um, the, obviously, the heavier the plate, the less lifting capacity you're going to get on your tractor because this is going to take off, you know, 200 pounds. This thing is probably, I would say, 100 pounds at least. So, yeah, just be mindful of lifting capacity. Then after you get your plate, you want to get some forks. I actually got these for free. Um... A lot of warehouses and stuff that run forklifts, they change these out every few years and they just have them laying around. So I was actually able to go to work and uh, ask the warehouse guys, hey, do you got any extra forks? And they had, I think, like five or six sets just sitting around. So I grabbed a set. Um, yeah, super heavy duty. I got the shorter ones. I think they're 42 inches or something like that. Just because... Uh, if they're longer, it's just they're going to be too heavy to carry. So yeah, you got your plate, you got your forks. So the last thing you need is a plate to hold the forks on to the actual back plate. So if you look on these forks, they have the little adjuster up here. And that pulls up that rod or that bolt thing, whatever it is. That thing is roughly half an inch wide. Um, so what I did, I got this plate. It's three eighths thick. And I measured it to be almost the full length of the, the plate, so 40 inches. And I drilled half inch holes, five inches on center. Um, it really, it's really up to you how far you want to space the holes. Depends on how much range you want the forklifts, the forks to go. Um, one thing I did notice though, half inch was a little bit small. So I ended up, after I slotted it, I just cut a little bit more off. Just to make that bolt. I think the bolts, it's just, it's a little bit bigger than half inch. Um, but I didn't have any... Drill bit's bigger than half inch, so say so yeah, you need a plate of this. You also need another plate the same length and thickness, three ace, with no holes to hold on the bottom of the forks. So once you have these made up, these are the bottom of the plate. This is the top. So you want the forks up at the top. So you're going to offset it. I'm going to drag it out a few inches, like so, and I'm going to weld it up so it'll look something like this. Okay, so I got this plate tacked on. Let's see, I did, I measured off of here, 13 and a half inches on both sides. So it's relatively straight, and I left it overhanging roughly two inches. You know, the thing about this is it really doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you could really do whatever you want. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do before you weld it up, you want to check to make sure it the forks actually go in there. So I'll see if I can do this one-handed. Forks are pretty heavy.
not quite popped in yet. I'm probably gonna have to flip it up to get it in fully, but it's pretty close. So. This plate, which is the same as this one, just no holes in it. This will go underneath and click in like so. Okay, so we got it all tacked up. We ran into a little bit of a problem. As you could see, I had to put spacers on this block just because this piece was dragging on the ground if it was flat. And this thing, the plate is too long to have the forks sit off either edge. So probably needed a smaller plate or bigger forklifts, but forks, but worked out. All I did was cut a half inch piece, weld it in there. Make sure you leave a gap under here so you could get the forks out someday. Otherwise, if you weld it all, all the way across, the forks will be stuck in there forever. So now, with that gap, the forks are not sitting on the plate. They're off just a little bit. I'll probably put some more plating back here just to strengthen it up so this isn't just floating. But yeah, that's what you want it to look like. The forks are... They're locked in, but they can move around. They're, they're kind of hard to move with it laying on the ground. Uh, once you get it up on the tractor, you could slide them across easier. But yeah, that is the gist of it. And now we just have to weld her up. For all the people on every video that insult my welds, uh, I'd like to see you do better. Send me a video and then we could talk. Alright, so it's all done. All welded up. I put a center bar in the middle just for wrapping straps around, clevises or whatever. Um, make things easier. It's a little close. I don't know if I'll be able to use these holes with the forks pulling in. But I didn't really know any other spot to put the um, bar I didn't want to go over there over there I was thinking about putting it on the forklift but the fork but I don't know but yeah it's all welded up um, I put an extra center bar in here just to do that um, I didn't do full welds the only place you really need full welds is I did full welds along the back where this is but everything else is you know spaced out you don't need to weld the crap out of it but yeah that's how it looks all in all, I think it cost me maybe 200, 250, if that. And yeah, this is just as good as quality as you could buy in the stores. So next step is to get it to the property and test her out. All right, so here's the finished product. Fits on there good. Forks move pretty easily no more difficult than forklift and get them locked in there you go it's not moving anywhere yeah not bad at all for 200 bucks